Hello students. In this video, we will learn how to create relationships between two tables. To do this, let's first start our PHP MyAdmin. Specify this URL in your uh, web browser's address bar. You will find this login window. Specify username and password and click on go. Then select the database. This test database we have created yesterday. So once the database is open, you will find a table named users. Let's first check what are what is the structure of this table. Click on users table. You will find that there is a column named ID, username, password, full name and user type in users table. In this table, ID column is auto incremented. That means it is unique and it will be automatically incremented by the database. Now in this database, we need to create one more table which represents the posts created by users. So to represent posts, let's first create a new table. For creating new table, we may use this create table button also. So for this post table, we will use this button create table. Click on it. Specify table name. I will specify it as posts. Define the structure. So first column is ID, which will be of course auto incremented and primary. Second is title. This will represent the title of the post. I will specify its type as by car and length as uh, 75. Then I need one or two more columns. So to do that, let's go to the bottom of the page by scrolling down and here you will find add one columns text box specify the number of columns you need to add I specify it as two and click on go you will find that two more columns are added here so let's add next column in our table I specified created on who will have a data type as debt then I will create one more column I specify its name as user ID now this column will represent the user the ID of that user who created this post once column name and data type is specified I will scroll to the right hand side and in indexes column I will set it as index now this will tell MySQL that user ID column will be indexed. Now this property will help us to relate this user ID column with other columns in with columns in other tables. This user ID will be actually an ID of user who created this post that means ID of one of these records in users table. Once completed all this just click on save and you will find that a new table is created named post let's go to that table you will find the structure here four columns uh, we created four columns ID title created on and user ID you will find in indexes tab that there are two indexes first is on ID and second is on user ID first is unique but second is not unique now we need to relate users table with posts table to do that first go to home page and then click on test database again so you will find this designer view here now to relate both these tables with each other just click on designer view you will find that the the two tables are displayed here users and post now we need to assign or relate this table using primary key of users table and user id key of post table so just click on create relation menu he will tell you to select reference key the reference key will be the primary key uh, of users table so click on it 
now it is saying that select foreign key so move your mouse to post table and select the column which you have created just to represent the user that means user id once you click on it it will specify you foreign key constraints for now uh, just leave it blank and click on ok you will find that a relationship is shown here so now this means that the post will have an id of users table which will show who created this post like this you can create any number of relations with multiple tables i hope this video will help this video helps you to create relationships thank you